Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and we are back with some more Party Tech action today after a rather hectic weekend and start to the week with Crusader Kings and Total War and all kinds of madness. We are back with some mech on mech madness. I hope you guys are excited. This should be a pretty fun session as we continue our hunt for a stalker. As we continue stalking for a stalker. We got a couple of mech warriors here out of action for 11 days. We've got uh, enough money to last us when this financial report comes in. I'm not all too nervous about it, to be perfectly honest, in hindsight. So we're going to make our way over through the star map to Brinton over here. Uh, many of you advise that that's an ideal location to pick up a stalker. So that's exactly what we're trying to do because I don't want... I do not want to do the end game without a stalker. I'm like adamant about this. <laughs> I've wanted one for so long. I've had so many opportunities to get one. I have two out of three salvage pieces. So the next time I meet one, I'm basically guaranteed to get it. Uh, all right, mercenaries, the game. Are you kidding me? In, in the middle of the afternoon, you find Decker hunkered in the arcade playing mercenaries, a tie-in to the popular Holovid show. Commander, have you played this game yet? Maybe it touches a little too close to home. See, I'm managing my own mercenary company in the periphery. Over his shoulder, you see the charts and data and little icons representing all the mechs at his disposal. You flash back to Darius' recent rundown of monthly expenses. Recommend that Decker refit his mech, suggest that he improve the med bay, warn him to negotiate, send Decker to the training modules. Um, that seems rude. Man's allowed to have some fun, but no, I, I need him in, uh, in tip-top shape, so let's uh, send him to the training modules. Uh, Decker, you're never going to make it as a mech warrior if you're goofing off playing make-believe mercenary. Get your ass in the training modules and learn some real skills. Looking chastised, he apologizes and hurries out of the arcade. He doesn't even pause to log out of the game. Oh, glancing at the screen, you see it's only a couple more days until his blackjack is refitted and his best mech warrior is healed up. And there's one more juicy contract available in this system. Decker gains 200 experience. Man, that's just rude. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. It's probably what Party Elite, the, uh, the mercenary leader would do, but Party Elite, the person sitting behind the keyboard... I don't think I'd do that. <laughs> now we're just having some fun. Need a break after you spend so much time killing people. That financial report has become yellow, though. That makes me a little bit more nervous. I think it's because of this flight. Uh, I hope we don't have to reduce the paychecks below normal. That would be quite bad. Now, I just want to mention really quickly, as always, if you guys would like to see more Battletech on this channel, make sure you let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment down below. It does make a very big difference. And uh, with a new DLC coming out as well, I do intend to cover it, uh, of course, as long as there is interest. Uh, thankfully, yes, I'm aware we're low on Seabill. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> we're barely able to make it two months through. Uh, it's fine, though. Hopefully, we'll get some good missions over here, and uh, we'll come out on top in terms of finances. Now, strolling down the hall, you collide with Decker, who seems to be in a hurry. Oh, Commander, I was looking for Darius, but you'll do. Trouble is on the verge of a brawl with Medusa. They need somebody to remind them they're teammates, not enemies. You raise your eyebrows. You have command experience, don't you, Decker? Decker blinks, well, yeah, but on board your ship, I'm just a pilot. I don't want to overstep my authority. A uh, good leader delegates. <laughs> Criticizes lack of initiative, that's just mean. Uh, I'm going to authorize Decker to deal with it. All right, uh, you say, good idea. Always respect the ch chain of command. And right now, I'm commanding you to go deal with this yourself. Decker salutes and vanishes back to the way he came. Later you hear through the grapevine that the brawl came to nothing. No lasting consequences. I feel like that should buff Decker's morale. I don't know. I feel good when people delegate tasks to me. Trust me with things that uh, you know I initially feel like I shouldn't be doing. Oh boy. Shouldn't have spent uh, that much money on these upgrades. It's okay. We've got, uh, we'll have like what, 18 days or something? Or 17 days after we arrive to uh, make some money. Hopefully there are enough local missions that we can very quickly make that money back. And again, like we've arrived, Commander. we are able to sell a bunch of stuff. I can buy a dragon here if I want. Or a Jaeger mech parts. Uh, I just want to see what they have here. If anything interesting, they've got some arm mods. Nothing I really want, I don't think. But yeah, I have a lot of crap I can sell, honestly. So the money situation isn't even that much of a situation. I have a lot of crap I can sell. Holy crap, I have so many mechs that I can sell. Some that I'm too attached to to sell. I could get rid of some of these Thunderbolts, actually. Sell you. And let's sell you as well. Boom. Done. <laughs> cool. We're safe. Alright. Check. Take a look at these contracts. And hopefully there's some available, first of all. Alright. Hostile insertion. Reputation too low for this one. But hey, this is a battle 
Satellite surveillance pictures show that a heavy lance was inserted into the planet's surface by a Davion dropship. Davion dropship? Currently, we believe they're securing their LZ, preparing for whatever operation they have planned. Before they finish securing the area, we'd like you to interrupt them. They're heavily armed, so expect strong resistance. If they just set down, they may not be battle ready. We might catch them with their metaphorical pants down. Maybe their real pants down. All right, it is a tundra, which is nice for my top tier heat management. We're going to go max salvage. Because again, we can always sell the salvage to make money back. Um, yeah, except. All right, so did I really not repair the king crab? God damn. All right, shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long. Should take a day at most. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, give it a day. A little inefficient, but uh, I was distracted by that video game that Decker was playing. All right, now we go to hostile insertion, negotiate, max salvage. All right. All right, glad the game warns you. So Behemoth and the Party King, Glitch and the Catapult, hopefully not for too much longer. Party Leader and the Highlander, and Medusa in the Banshee. Do we still give Medusa some training here? Might not be a bad idea. It is a hard mission. It is a hard mission. But, uh, no, let's give it to Decker. Let's give it to Decker. All right, let's deploy. All right, here we go. So it's a heavy lance that implies stuff like stalkers. So this is where the satellite pictures showed the hostile lance touching down. Move up and make contact. Let's see what we're dealing with. Expect serious resistance. All the air out. Okay, so let's just be careful here. Let's be careful. Again, I don't trust how rusty I can get sometimes when I take time away from the game. Uh, it should be okay. All right, let's get the Party King. Well, let's take a look at the atmosphere or the environment first here. Like, I might want to take advantage of this uh, cliff side over here. I do need to give the Party King more jump jets. I didn't want to spend too much money on uh, making adjustments when we were so low on sea bills, but I might do it after this mission. So let's get the Party King up to here. Standing by onto that road as quickly as possible. And then let's get Glitch moving over to this side over here. Oh. Sensors have something. Enemy contact already. That's a hundred ton mech. Jeez. All right. All right. Let's get you over here so it's within range and we'll have cover. Sprint you over. Let's get you over to here. And let's get the Banshee off to the side perhaps. I mean, not so much the side over here, but uh, we'll be able to come in from the flank potentially from this angle. I wonder how widespread they are. But hey, let's focus down on that 100 tonner first. That one 100 tonner. See what it is. And again, no matter what it is, I can core it. Unless it's something else that I don't have any salvage of, I can core it. Stalker, I have two parts already. Uh, we're going to reserve. Let that thing make its first move. It is in phase one. Of course, it's a 100 ton mech. Come on. How many mechs have you got? Ah, all right, fine. Play it that way. Decker, let's move you up first. I can jump you up to here. The extra evasive pips would be nice. Get you over to here, clear shots. Face the right way. I almost wonder if I want to uh, pop Vigilance as well. It's a King Crab. I, yes, I want to pop Vigilance. <laughs> or yes, we're popping Vigilance from that. And fire away. With just the one M laser, I suppose. I mean, breaching shot. I mean, what's 50% damage reduction? Oh, I guess it rounds down. All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Do I want a, another king crab? I don't think so. All right, uh, glitch. Fire away from back there. These two have enough evasive pips, I think, to keep them relatively safe. So let's fire away. Get some work done over here. I'm a little nervous about the uh, King Crab, I'm not going to lie. I mean, maybe Behemoth can go in there with a double AC-20 and, and wreck its day right away. Maybe I should send Behemoth in next. Waiting for orders. Ah, I can't get close enough. And now I regret not uh, swapping in those jump jets. All right, Party Elite. Let's get you moving first, then. Could jump you up to here. Get here for the cover until we have access to a vigilance for everybody with morale getting higher all right fire away Engaging target. yeah 
Okay, not terrible. Not terrible. Now what? Here we go. It's moving away. Nope, it's moving towards me. Good, so maybe it'll get close. No, not close enough for uh, for Behemoth to be able to move in and fire, I don't think. Commander. Oh, yes it is. Alright, beautiful. So we're going to do exactly that. Unfortunately, I haven't saved my... Um, haven't saved my morale to pop Vigilance on Behemoth, but... Or not even pop Vigilance, but to get Precision Strike. But that's, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, fire away. We get lucky. Firing. Nice. Very nice. All right, all right. Now, what are you going to do? What's back there? What are you? How many LRMs are you carrying? Well, you're definitely carrying LRMs. We know that. I don't know. I don't know. What is it? It's a 90 tonner, I think, right? Yeah. Isn't a stalker 100? I can't remember now. Ooh being flanked over here very clever very clever all right decker uh you can stay put for now glitch if you fire you can topple this king crab over so i think that's exactly what we're gonna do exactly what we're gonna do maybe we also get this torso piece if we're really lucky but uh yeah fire away come on come on well hey got a decent bit of damage on both sides over here Decker might be able to dive in and, and break that piece off. We've got one pilot injury. There's another one waiting to happen. I'm not intent on collecting a king crab, but if I get one, I'm not going to complain. Uh, I wonder if we jump up to here and assess the situation. Figure out what this 90 and this 80 tonner is. Worst case scenario, we pop Vigilance. We'll get a decent number of evasive pips here. I think it's worth the risk. Let's go. I want to get close enough to start punching things as well. We got a Highlander back there. Oh man, lots of lots of big juicy mechs here. But no, let's fire at the King Crab while it's down, and let's try and hit. I'm wondering if I should try and hit this one because I've got enough damage output to take that as well. Now let's let's focus on this one. Guaranteed destruction of that left torso, and that'll take out the AC20 ammo. Oh, ammo explosion. Ooh. Yeah, come on. It'll take out this AC-20 as well. Come on, fire away. Wow. Yes, there it is. There it is. Critical hit, Commander. Good stuff. So for all intents and purposes, that King Crab is... Well, it's not taken care of, but it's definitely much less of a threat. Party Elite, you could multi. We could jump you up a little bit so you can get more shots out. The Highlander versus Highlander situation here pull you to here uh, oh yeah okay okay this works for me we also get the cover benefit so let's go ahead and do this let's jump on over to here I think yeah evasive pips yes please like so why even have legs on these mechs <laughs> alright and you're a quick draw fair enough fair enough do I want to spread the love here or do I just want to focus down on the King Crab and make sure I take that torso piece out? Now, let's spread it. Let's spread it. Um, cool. This works for me. Fire away, I believe. Yes. Engaging multiple nice. Hmm, leg shot. All right. Okay. I can work with that. What about the King Crab here? Come on. Come on. Ah, okay. Well, hey, L laser crit. So apart from punching me, this mech is taking a fair bit of damage. And it might just try to do that. I don't know if it can close the gap to the Banshee. I think the Banshee's on elevated terrain on this rock here. So he should be fine. Oh, it's so... It hurts to see a King Crab like that. Oh! Ho oh, ho. That's no joke. I need to be very careful. Warning. Armor low. I need to be very careful. Uh, the King Crab has moved. Do we hit the Highlander instead with a precision strike to the CT? If we move up, we can hit it with everything. Reduced accuracy, but uh, I do think it's worth it. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Can I? Okay, over here we should be better off. Yeah, let's do that then. No trees to give us cover, but I mean we're a king crab. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage will be okay. Let's face like so. Need to keep the right side of party elite safe. 
My precision strike, this thing, right in the CT. Oh boy, okay. Hmm. On it. Guess we're getting some hurt in. Got it unsteady, but it's gonna move next. Yep. Yeah. What are you gonna try and hit? What are you gonna try and hit? Oh, okay. That's terrifying. We're good. We're good, though. We're good. I was a little worried about the Goss Rifle on the Highlander. I'm always worried about the Goss Rifle on the Highlander. I almost wonder if I shouldn't put it elsewhere. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Reinforcements? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I'm a little bit more scared now. <laughs> a little bit more scared now. I got this quick draw jumping on up. All right, gonna fire at the Highlander, I imagine. Yeah. Oh God. All right, glitch. Fire away at the Highlander, I suppose. We can topple it over. I could split shots between the King Crab and the Highlander, I suppose. Like so. Fire away. Try and take this thing down if possible. And try and topple you over if possible. Don't make me regret not doing a full salvo against you. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When I shoot you, you'll take it and light Nice. Very nice. Okay. What are you gonna move? What are you gonna move? What do you have in phase two? Something with LRMs. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Something else in phase two? No, okay. Uh, Behemoth, Order. you first. Are we dropping the King Crab? There's so much to take care of here. There's so much to take care of. Uh, I'm tempted to multi between the Highlander and the King Crab. I mean, the King Crab, uh, AC-20 can cause so much damage. I should probably precision strike the King Crab to make sure I destroy it. Should have gone for like a headshot earlier. Feels like a waste of uh, of resolve, doesn't it? It's a lot of damage waiting to happen, though. Let's see how you like it. There we go. You know what? I'm completely satisfied with that decision. Completely satisfied with that decision. That Down goes the King Crab. All right. This thing's gonna stand up now. Cause me some trouble. The AC-10 might do a decent bit of work. Should have taken advantage of it being down, but. I was a little worried about that AC-20 coming in and causing some trouble. Taking away my Goss rifle. Alright, Party Elite, on which note? <laughs> on which note? We're going to move you, buddy. We're going to move you where? We're going to move you over to here, I think. And we're going to expose our... Ah. Uh, don't want to expose my back to the quick draw, but I'm feeling like I have to. Other option is to do, what, this. Still exposing my back... If I do this, I'm... You know what? Sure. Let's do... Let's go ahead and do... This. And kind of hope for the best here. Really kind of hope for the best here. See, this... Uh, the Highlander should drop pretty soon. Like, Decker might be able to take it out. We might be just short, but... So let's do this. Oh, God. Okay, and then we can multi. Hit the Victor with two, and then hit this with everything else. Fire away. Alright, good hit. Wow, really good hit. Oh, I was hoping to expose the structure there so we could lop that off sooner. It's a lot of AC-20 ammo there. All right. Softened up a little bit for Decker. Enemy turn. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What else do they have here? Ah. Taking some serious damage, right? Decker. Ready for orders. Going with the punch from this side here. I think so. I think I want to pop Vigilance, though. So, yeah, let's pop Vigilance here. Confirm that. And then let's go in. 
from the side. Attack. Yep. Come on. Come on. Targeting for physical attack. Nice. <laughs> nice. Don't even need all the S lasers to go off, but hey, why not? Why not? All right, good stuff. Target neutralized. Good stuff. Now the quick draw moves, and it might be able to jump in to fire the arm. Oh no, they've got a lot more crap back there. Dear lord. Definitely glad I popped vigilance there. In comes the victor as well with its AC20, and its ridiculous amount of AC20 ammo. Oh! Definitely glad I popped vigilance here. Alright, in comes the quick draw. Where to? Where to? Party King, okay. Okay. Alright, I'm up. Uh, do we take Night care of the victor first? I kinda think I should. Standing by. Decker's able to go in for a punch. I am a fan of that idea. Definitely a fan of that idea. We can come in from this side as well. Alright, sure, so let's pop Vigilance first. Apparently Decker's drawing a lot of aggro today. It's coming from this side. Hopefully we'll, you know, do a little bit of damage to this chunk over here. And then we'll come in with Glitch firing away. Apply for risks. Let's go. Cool off completely. Bam. Very nice. Alright, good stuff. Glitch, fire away. Topple it over. Well, you know, as soon as you get the chance it's to, I mean. Sensor lock on me. Not a fan of that situation. Waiting on you, Commander. Attack this Victor. Fire away. Alright. Knock down pilot injury. Side torso destroy pilot yeah. injury. Critical hit. That CT is pretty low on health as well. I hope that Victor doesn't stand up and punch Decker in the face. Alright, good, good, good. The Party King should be able to move first. Ooh. We should be able to get some work done on the Victor. Damage minimal. Move you over to here. Should be able to destroy this thing. Yeah, let's go. I copy. Exposing myself a little bit, but hopefully one round of focus fire without being braced isn't the end of the world. Into the CT. Come on. Given Nice. <laughs> Little floating flying pieces back there. Target this thing is messed up. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Now I got this quick draw. Party League can take care of that, I think. Some LRMs coming in. This Banshee is in some trouble. At least it feels like it's in some trouble. Alright, can I jump behind this thing? I cannot, unfortunately. I can come from the side, though. Coming from the side, and I can drop how much? Ooh. Get an ammo explosion going, that'd be nice. Sure, let's jump like so. Keep that arm protected. We'll fire away from the side. And I could probably get a headshot in from the front. I could try and precision strike. 17% chance. Just to get it out of the way really quickly. That's not a head I mean, that's a headshot. Oh! Hell yeah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that is. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> it's go time. I was just about to make fun of the the leg shot. Like, okay, that's about as far from the head as you can get. But hey, I'll take this. Commander. I'll take this for sure. Okay. Do we jump on over to here? Get the cover. Get the evasive pips. And get vision and get close enough to maybe get some uh, punches in soon. We got a hundred tonner back there. This is tempting. At least this way Glitch will be able to fire. Or do I reserve? Reserve. Let them move first. Take advantage of like our guarded and stuff for as long as possible. Alright, you're gonna fire away? No. And not gonna lie, this is kind of scary. Ooh, it's an awesome. Alright. Focus down on the awesome first. I mean, Behemoth up, is going to be better off taking care of these things. So let's get Decker jumping. Yes, over to here. Looking up this way. Man, he is 
if he gets focused down on, he will lose some parts, like an arm mod plus plus. I wouldn't want him losing that, actually. Wondering if I move up to here instead, or... Move up to here. Pop Vigilance. This is our left arm, right arm, right arm. So I'd have to turn like this to protect it. Then we expose our back. Fine, let's jump on over to here. And pose like so. And we might pop Vigilance still, depending on what mechs we're up against here. Got a Banshee. Mm. I'm a Banshee. You know what? I'm going to pop Vigilance. Can't play it too safe. Fire away. Sure. <laughs> sure, leg shots. Why not? Alright, Banshee's moving up. Hopefully move it up. Yeah, okay. So the King Crab can roll on in. Oh my god. Come on. Yeah. Yes, can you fire from here? No, so I have to move you. Alright, fine. Move you, and then maybe we'll core this thing. Other options to stay put. It's not like we have guarded or anything, so might as well. Might as well move the King Crab first. We are heating up real bad. Can't afford to shut down, so let's do that instead. Fire away. Fire away. Really? One of our AC-20s missed? We can't afford that. I'm wondering if I should uh, retreat. I'm really worried about the Banshee. Alright. Uh, glitch, you're up. Go. Do we fire away at, uh, at this Banshee? I mean, I'm worried about my Banshee, by the way. Okay, fire away. Come on. Come on. Okay, sure. We made it unsteady. Party Elite, you're up. Uh, we could get you jumping over to here, facing to the side a little bit. Ah, just the Gauss Rifle in. Alright. So, fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I need to stop jumping around now. Alright. Fire away. Gauss Rifle needs to hit. Good stuff. It's going to topple over. Alright. A little bit of structural damage over there. The littlest bit. But hey, at least we caused some injuries. Let's hit him hard. Okay, got some more resolve. We're inspired. We got these mechs rolling in. I know that's the awesome, right? Oh, damn. I need to do something about this. Damage is light. I need to do something about this quickly. Um, Decker. Good to go. I don't know about exposing you to more trouble, buddy. Could walk you up to here. If I stay like this, might not be a bad idea. This is over 300. Try and take the... Uh, right torso out instead, get rid of that PPC, or get rid of the AC-5 on the left torso. Uh, sure, fine. You know what, let's move on up, and let's hide our, uh, our left arm still. I mean, both of our arms are in trouble. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. See, this is why I jump. Evasive pips. Like, maybe I jump to here. Because this, this awesome has already shot. If I jump to here next time around, I can go in and try and punch this thing. Um, if I come up here, I might put myself in a very dangerous situation. Unfortunately, from over here, I only get the two M lasers to fire. It's not good enough. The terrain is not ideal. Could move up to here. Pop Vigilance. Hope for the best. Am I taking that kind of a risk here? Let's go up to here. Like so. And, uh... Like so. I'm worried that this thing's gonna move up and I'm gonna lose my opportunity to hit it. Okay, let's do this. Four evasive pips. Pop Vigilance. And hopefully this awesome will come around this way. Alright, so let's turn around like so, I suppose. 
God. <laughs> uh, this is picking the lesser of evils here. Alright, fire away up here. Try and get that right torso piece off. 150. Ugh, no. We should try and take uh, the left torso piece off. We'll see what we can get. We're coming in from underneath. I don't know what we're going to get here. Okay, I'll definitely take that. Some heavy damage. Definitely take that. Alright, enemy turn. What are you? Are you a stalker? Another king crab. Are you kidding me? Oh dear, okay. Alright, glitch, you're up. I'm showing minor damage. Uh do we hit the banshee here and try to take care of the PPC as well? I mean I think so. Fire away. Decent spread going down. Ah, all right, fair enough. It's gonna stand up now. Fire that PPC right into Decker is my guess. Along with that S laser, we're in range. Nope, it's gonna back away. All right, all right. Nope, nope. Oh dear. Okay, I much prefer that. I much prefer that. Party elite, what can you hit from where you stand? Not much. Not much. I could move you up a little bit. Get you working on the awesome as well as the kink. Oh my god. Alright, let's do this. Let's move up like so. I'm gonna pop Vigilance. My other option is to actually use Behemoth to uh, core something here. I fire from where we're standing. Man. That overheat. I could precision strike this awesome, get rid of three PPCs. I'm gonna try that first. Because what is that? That's 275. No, we can't get rid of it even if we core it. I could go for the headshot. Really? I'm gonna take just the AC20s to do that? Oh boy. Come on. Nope. Well, at least we crit one PPC. Alright. Should've just worked on the Banshee. This isn't good. Alright, Party Elite. We're gonna move you up. I guess we could do a little bit of work on the Awesome and then the Banshee as well. Back there. And I could pop Vigilance, so at least there's that. I'm going to. Should probably jump up for the evasive pips. Sure, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get the three evasive pips from jumping over here. Spread the love a little bit. Face like so. I'm gonna pop vigilance. All right, we should be good. We should be good. I'm a little nervous. There's just a couple things that I don't want to lose, basically, as far as equipment is concerned. That's just it. The King Crab, I'm going to try and core or something. Jeez. Alright, fire away. In comes the breaching shot. Hopefully we'll do something worthwhile. Sure, we expose the CT. That works for me. Shots into the awesome. Alright, cool. Soften up a little bit. Alright, PPC destroyed. Okay. In comes the king crab, probably gonna mess my day up. Oh boy, I'm wondering if we should eject. <laughs> I'm wondering if we should eject. We can drop the awesome. Maybe we hit the awesome as well as the... God damn. God damn. The awesome will topple over easy. The Banshee, though. Alright, fine. Let's multi with party. Get the LRM 20 plus plus here. We're going to have Bulwark. Let's hit the awesome with everything else. And the Goss Rifle will hopefully tip it over. Well, Goss Rifle with the SRMs should do the trick. Fire away. Okay, good hits, good hits. 
Good hit. Knocked down, heat sink destroyed, head hit for the pilot injury. Pretty satisfied with that. Now it's up. Still me. Glitch, you're up. I hear ya. We're going to try and knock down the Banshee, I think. Oh, we're going to try and destroy the Banshee, if I'm perfectly honest. I'm tempted to multi the Awesome and the Banshee. Just to get a breaching shot on this thing. But, uh... Oh, I don't know. Sure, you know what? Let's do that. Like so, fire away. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Good hits overall. Uh, I should have gone in with a full salvo. God damn it. Knew it. <laughs> I knew it was gonna come back to bite me. Good hits over here. We got rid of an arm, sure. And there's more where that came All right, now it's gonna stand up and cause me some trouble, isn't it? Decker, Decker, nobody. Maybe we sent it packing. We did. Did we? No, it's going to hit Decker. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, we're okay. Reporting. We're okay. Damage. We're okay. Um, this Banshee is still very much standing. So, Decker, what do we do with you? Do we go in to punch this awesome? Go down like a hero? Receiving you. Or do we get Behemoth? We're almost out of AC-20 ammo, which I don't like. Even if we knock this banshee down, we're lucky. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna fire with the SRMs because that is seventy-two plus sixty. That's one hundred and thirty plus damage. If we're really lucky, we're coming in from the right angle over here. So if we're really lucky, come on, baby. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. <laughs> of course we were just short. You're gonna stand it up and ruin Decker's day, aren't you? Not even gonna go out like a hero, Decker. He's not gonna die, he's just gonna lose an arm or something, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, 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 okay. Oh, hey. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, Decker, you're up. Yes, Commander. We're taking this awesome down? We could, actually. Or the King Crab here. It's a lot of melee damage output. Both of these guys... Well, no, the King Crab moves before us. Hmm. If I get punched in the face by a King Crab, I'm ruined. That is the end of this mech. And the end of Decker. I could try and jump behind something. Precision strike the lower CT. We've got what? I keep forgetting the total here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 120. 170 damage. Oh wow, that's actually not enough on the King Crab. What about the Awesome? Not enough. I come in with the punch. By coming with a punch from the side, I should be able to drop the awesome from either side, really. And then the king crab moves before me, but behemoth... Oh, dear. I am... I'm very nervous. I might lose both my arm mods here. Is it a risk worth taking? Because if I fire from where I sit, I can still cause a fair bit of damage. But that's not the courageous move. We're going to confirm Vigilance and go in for the punch. Let's go. Coordinates received. Let's go. Come on. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Fire away. Just because. Why not? Enemy down. Damn right. Enemy down. Okay. Enemy turn. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's time. <laughs> we finally have the opportunity to get our stalker. Alright. I hope that's the one I can make into an LRM boat. 3F, I think so. Okay, Decker is up again. 
Now here's the thing. Do we punch the king crab? Or do we get the hell out of here? 250 damage plus... What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus 120. That is... A lot of damage output. That's 370 damage output. Not enough to take the CT out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, do we come from the side here? Take out the AC-20? If this thing punches me, I am ruined. What is the punch on this thing? 250. Ready for order. 250 damage. Oh. That is quite tempting. That is quite tempting. We would survive it. We'd lose a lot of parts if it punches me. I don't want to expose my back. I could drop the Banshee instead. The whole point of popping Vigilance so I'd, was so I'd be able to dodge the King Crab before it was able to hit me. But here I am now. Face of adversity, wanting to punch this thing in the face instead. Alright, let's go crab hunting, boys. Let's do this. Confirm vigilance. Let's go up to the side over here. Hit it square in the chest. Maybe we'll... I don't know. I don't know. This was a bad idea. No! I cannot believe we missed the punch. Oh, we're so screwed. Come on, fire away at... Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Oh, not so good. Hey, what's up? What's this about? What is this about? My Goss rifle's there, buddy. Don't you dare. What can I do for you? Don't you dare. Alright, let's fire away. Let's drop this Banshee finally, I think. I feel like I should be able to multi and, and get it still. Come on, don't screw me, game. Here come the shots. I just need one. Wow. I deserve that. I deserve that for my overconfidence in a desperate situation. Are you goddamn kidding me? Right in the head? Armor breach? Good to go. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, we can multi now. Or do I precision strike this king crab in the CT with the AC-20s? Stalker still has to move as well. I mean, again, I could core this thing. Oh, wow. Forgot how heavy duty it was. It's like, what am I more terrified of? That's the, that's the question right now. What am I more scared of? Um... Buddy here still has to move, so you know what? Try and get that head lopped off. Acknowledged. No luck, of course. Oh boy, here goes. I'm really worried about that head. That's so close to destruction. I mean, very minimal hit chances, but still. Light damage. It is terrifying. Now, Party Elite from over here, able to hit a couple things. Uh, definitely want to drop this Banshee. I should not need more than a... God damn it. I've been saying that for the last little while now. Alright. Let's go with the... King Crab with almost everything, and then... And then this. Right? That should be enough. Right? All I need is one good hit. Come on. Alright, getting some damage in there. Okay, thank god. That took way too long to get to. Way too long to get to. Alright, here's the king crab coming on in towards the banshee. Oh no, Decker. Oh wow, we're, uh, we're alive. <laughs> But we're alive. Armor blow through. Internal damage. How do we play this? How do we play this? How do we play this? 
Do I go towards the stalker, knock it in its back, and try to destroy it? I think so. I think so. Pop vigilance first for sure. Let's go. Confirmed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got so close. We got so close. Okay, Glitch, you're up. That thing is unsteady. We could hit it to drop it. Or do I... Mm. Let's do... Let's do this. The other option is to like try and focus down on the King Crab to drop it. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. Alright, come on. Alright. Well, there's a knockdown at least. Your turn. Not gonna get knocked down, but you know, take some damage. Okay, okay. Oh god, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. This could go so horribly wrong. Shots at the party king. Okay, we're good. We're good. Party elite, you're up. I think you're up first. Um... Focus down on the king crab. Alright, good stuff. Nice, 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 nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage Behemoth, detected. you're up. Fire away at the uh, party king. Or at the party king of the king crab, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, I call everything a party king. Uh, I think I should focus down on this thing. Shut overheat alert. Don't want to lose my head here. Let's do that. Last shot from the AC-20, actually, so let's do that. Firing. Alright, knocked down at least. AC wow, this was, uh, this was actually a pretty intense uh, <laughs> mission. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Let's not get too excited. Alright, Glitch, you're up. Waiting for orders. Let's try and drop the Stalker. Oh, we can't drop it, so Decker. Might as well move you in to finish it off before it does any work, I suppose. What a waste of damage output, though. What a waste of damage output. They're both kind of scary, actually. That's for sure. Let's move in against the King Crab instead. Kind of a waste of all the work we did to the back of the Stalker, but without multi... Confirm that. Let's go and try and crush this king crab. Let's go. Copy that. I think we're much better off for it. Locked on for physical attack. Come on. Very nice, I suppose. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. And now glitch, you're up. Mech destroyed. Yep. I hear ya. Fire away. Stalker. We're not going to destroy it, but it's fine. Old LRM boat, meet new LRM boat. So worried about this head. That's all I'm worried. Yeah, alright, we're good. Waiting for orders. Fire away. Um, like so. Roger that. Yeah, we've uh, we've got this. That hit Party lead. I guess it's only fitting that you get the uh, killing shot here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have our stalker after a very fittingly intense battle. Destroyed. That is the last one. Let's dust off and go home. Mission. Oh my god. I don't even want to check if this is the right stalker. Because I believe there's one that can't be made into the LRM boat like I want it to be. Alright, fair bit of damage taken, but it's okay. Fair bit of damage put out as well. We've got ourselves, where is it? The Stalker. Yes, step one. And we can get two King Crab parts, which is pretty neat. We can get a step closer to a Highlander as well. To another Highlander, I should say. Let's get two steps closer to a King Crab, though. I wouldn't mind having another King Crab. And everything else, I think I'll let uh, the Dice Gods decide... 
finally. Finally. I am I'm happy with this. All right. Well, on that happy note, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call this session. I hope you had a good time. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like, drop a comment. It does make a very big difference uh, to what I pursue on this channel and at what pace. Hopefully, I'm able to return to a regular schedule at this point in time. Uh, I want to mention as well a massive thanks, of course, to each and every one of my patrons and channel members that support this channel on a month-to-month -month basis, helping us run smoothly, much like this... Uh, much like this mercenary outfit. Until next time, again, thank you very much for watching. Above and all, that's the most important thing. Cheers.